Laughter can be a powerful form of stress relief, and that's no joke. My good friends from the hit podcast, Alec Mappa, Hot Mess with Matthew Dempsey, psychotherapist, are back to share how you can find the funny during the pandemic. I'm the hot mess all the time. Totally. Hello, hello, hello. Starting the show is always so weird. I'm Alec Mappa, and I'm a bottomless pit of need aching to be loved. Emotional detachment, that's how I get by. Please welcome the amazing Sandra Bernhardt, Tracy Tudor, Kristen Johnston, Dominique Jackson, the very funny Dulce Sloan. Yay! Yay. Our very first episode is all about addiction. In the next 45 minutes, addiction will be ended. Seriously, a claim series. Bose. You're on a cherry Oh, God. Like re-traumatized from racist days. Okay. I right, once I had four hours and 45 minutes on Instagram. I've always felt like a 12-year-old white girl, but now I officially am. This is crazy making me. Uh, the lesbians are going to brainwash you. <laughs> <laughs> One of my friends, super in shape. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And when I was talking to him, he's like, I'm going to the gym. And I'm like, dude, aren't you done? I look at pictures and I look like a hooker. I'm so cute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like you, Matthew. Oh, I'm not going to Thanks, And you know Show's what? Show's over. Good night, everybody. Thank you. Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the show. Hi, Dr. Ian. Hi, Dr. Ian. Here we go. Okay, this is it. Alec, you win this time. Your hair is the highest. It's the closest to God. <laughs> it was for you. You said I'm very competitive. Listen, Matthew was already six foot eight. So <laughs> I need all the height I can get just to be seen. So, hey, Alec, you know, We've been talking about the pandemic. Yes. Hopefully we're nearing the end of the pandemic, but being a comedian, um, you know, has its pluses, right? How has it helped you through the pandemic? Well, you know, it's uh, there was an article in Scientific American recently that said that laughing re- uh, releases endorphins. It actually releases a chemical that is pleasurable and it helps you tolerate pain. So now more than ever, we need laughter as a coping mechanism. So yeah. if you're in pain right now, just do this and look at yourself in the mirror and talk for a bit. <laughs> Doctor, this is a very serious subject. Uh, suppressing a laughter is the surest way to get me to laugh. <laughs> like, I used to take yoga at a very exclusive yoga studio in Hollywood where all a lot of famous people went. And one time there was this Oscar winning actress in the room and we were all like, everybody was on their best behavior. And she broke wind. <laughs> at some point in the class. And it, I don't, can I say fart on the air? Yeah, it was loud. And everybody pretended like, just let's just move past it. But I started laughing. Yes. Like, I'm like, she farted and she won an Oscar and I'm going to laugh. And all of a sudden the, the entire class started laughing too. It's like, I felt so connected to everybody in the room <laughs> because I was like, because we were also laughing about like, we were all going to pretend that that didn't happen. <laughs> Did she laugh? Yes. 